Don't think I'll be needing these today. Do you? Good morning friends, um, I think there might be a little bit of water on the lens, so if I'm a little bit marbled or soft focus, that's probably a good thing to be honest, isn't it? Um, Monday, no not Monday, Tuesday morning, and I was off yesterday, so again of course I think it's Monday, um, and I'm only in for a three day week this week, because it's holiday time on Friday. I might have told you once or twice. Uh, this is our first holiday in six years, five years, six years. And, um, oh no, five years. So we are really, really looking forward to that. Um, it's obviously our first holiday where we've had Dexter. So thankfully we have got um, a good friend of ours coming to house sit and dog sit for us, um, which of course avoids the um, additional cost of putting um, Dexter into kennels, um, which isn't cheap. You'll have seen um, in yesterday's vlog that um, I had some t-shirts and things arrive from Weirdfish. Unfortunately, they were too big. <laughs> um, so I've got to, so I'm sending them back um, and I can't really wait until they get the return, process uh, and exchange, and send those out. So I've made a separate order online, which hopefully should be here, if not today, then tomorrow. Um, and then when the returns get there, they can credit them in their own time. Um, motorway looking busy. Thankfully, I don't go on the motorway. Um, just three days of work and it's three early starts unfortunately. Hello. Five past five. On my way home and I've got a friend coming around to the house, John. We've arranged for him to come around tonight so we can show him around the house. I mean he's been to the house loads of times but obviously show him uh, where the keys are, how the boiler works, um, you know, all the little nits, all little bits and pieces he's going to need to know um, whilst he's looking after the house for us for a week. I'm also going to take him on one of the walks that we do with Dex. Uh, I'll probably take him on the one, the shorter one, um, and take the ball with us so that um, he knows how he behaves when we're playing ball. Wow, I am shattered. We went out for a good walk with uh, Dexter to the park and we met a couple of other dogs there. And after Dexter was chasing a couple down and being a typical seven month old puppy, we spoke to one of the others, uh, one of the other dog owners and agreed that it might be a good idea just to let the two dogs uh, play, of which there were about seven dogs uh, at one point, but we let two of them have a good old tussle and run around and Dexter is now absolutely knackered. The other dog was a bit older than him, I think he was about five or six years old, so right in the peak of his physical uh, performance. And Dex could outrun him, but um, he was uh, knackered very quickly. Chef Emma here is just about to prepare a delicious risotto. Is there anything I can help you with? Sure? I did ask, see, it's evidence now, I've got it on film. Um, <laughs> so, uh, you alright? Yeah. Should we have a kiss and a snuggle? <laughs> you smell a garlic, what do you have lunch? Do I? Mm. Some soup. Garlicky? <clears throat> Sorry. No, the soup wasn't garlicky, I don't think. Not particularly. You're not talking to me now. No. <laughs> it's not romantic. It's not romantic, no. No. But I'll make up for it later. 
Okay. <laughs> Just been catching up on a few <clears throat> vlogs that I watch and um, having seen a couple of tweets and Instagrams yesterday, I was waiting for the CTFXC vlog today with um, Charles and Ali Trippy because it seems that Charles Trippy has had another couple of seizures. Um, if you've watched him for any length of time um, or not, you may know that about this time last year, maybe March last year, he had a, a brain tumour which turned out to be benign and it was removed um, and it all seemed okay. But after one hell of a year for his band, for his business, for all of those sorts of things, um, it's obviously taken a strain on him. And he's had a couple of seizures yesterday, so he was back in getting a CT scan and a MRI scan and all those sorts of things. And I think to vlog all the way through that, um, like he did last year, even when he had surgery, his attitude towards it all was just amazing. And I'm sure I'm not alone when I say, um, keep strong, Charles, stay positive. Um, we're thinking of you and we hope that everything turns out okay. Um, so yeah, take care of yourself. I have had enough for tonight. I'm going to go up to bed. So I shall see you good folks on the morrow. Take care.